Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So I just recently saw a movie on Netflix that I've never heard of before. And the name of the movie is Prospect. And it was released back in 2018. So this is actually a sci-fi slash thriller movie. And the general story is there's this group of miners, uh, specifically with a teenage girl named Cece and her dad. And they go to different planets and they mine or prospect this very valuable element. So it's very similar to the gold rush. It's just in this case, it's on different worlds and the way in which the element is actually retrieved, it's really interesting, let's just say that. And on their journey, they actually end up on this planet and they meet another fellow prospect uh, named Ezra, uh, played by Pedro Pascal. And Cece is actually played by Sophie Thatcher, I forgot to mention that. And so once that happens, a lot of other things happen, you know, in this whole world of prospecting and on this alien planet. And that's kind of like the general story. So let's go ahead and get into the things that I did enjoy about this film. And so the first thing that really got me was the overall acting. Specifically by Pedro Pascal who plays Ezra. He's a very, very interesting, mysterious character. Uh, very intelligent, especially the way in which he talks. But also very conniving as well. And so he is the best thing I would say about this movie because he adds a lot to it. And there's so many situations in this movie where you feel like this could be the end of this character and the other character. And the other main character, as I mentioned earlier, Cece. And so it's primarily focused on Cece and Ezra uh, for pretty much the majority of the movie. But I really would say Pedro Pascal, he steals the show here. And I absolutely love every scene that he was in. And there's so many scenes where his acting abilities really, I would say, elevated this movie. And so the second thing that I enjoyed about this movie is, of course, the story. Now, whenever you think about sci-fi, going to different planets, a lot of times you probably can guess what's going to happen. Um, specifically, it's going to involve aliens and so forth. In this case, it has all those elements, but the way in which used is so different. Like, there are so many things in this movie that I did not expect, you know? And in a lot of ways, it makes this movie better. Because you are not expecting these things to happen, and because there's not a clear answer to everything, it just keeps your mind going, even way after the movie. Which leads me to the final best thing about this movie, and that is the world building. There's so many different elements in this movie that can really go deep. You know, the whole thing from the whole prospect of mining of this very alien element, the different planets, all the different prospectors, uh, the people involved in it. There's just a lot there. And there's so many moments in this movie where you see something and you're like, wait, what's that? Where did I come from? Why is that there? But the movie never explains it. And in some cases, people might see that as a negative. But the way in which it's presented here just adds so much more mystery and overall depth in this movie. And if there ever was sequels or other side stories, you could go really, really deep in just those areas alone. And so the world building combined with the story just makes this a very, very different type of sci-fi movie. For all your email marketing needs, check out AWeber, the premier service news at geekoutdoors.com. Get signed up today for free and also get 100% free complete account migration. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now getting to the things that I did not like about this movie, um, if you are expecting you know, a very cookie cutter type movie, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, you're not gonna get it here. You know, if you're, you're the type of person who wants a lot of answers to everything, you're definitely not gonna get that as well. And then to go along with that, uh, since this is a sci-fi film, um, you are expecting special effects, um, aliens, and those things are here, but this is a much lower budget film, even though it doesn't look low budget, so you're not gonna get a lot of special effects, um, even though the things that are there, they look really good. And then when it comes to the aliens, you don't really know much of anything about them at all. Because the main focus of this film is really these two central characters and all the characters in the world around it. And so that's my thoughts on Prospect. I really feel that this is one of the better sci-fi films out there. I would definitely say 
Um, out of all the sci-fi films I've seen recently in the past few years, this is one that stands out. And it's also one that I feel, you know, could be expanded upon. But I don't think this movie uh, made a lot of money because it was a lower budget movie and I didn't hear about it myself. However, I think it is a film that you should watch if you are the type of person who enjoys a really good sci-fi film that is character driven and that has a story and world that is interesting. So if you actually had any thoughts on this movie, be sure to leave down in the comments area below. Or if there's any other movies that you've seen sci-fi uh, related, I would like to know that as well. And if you wanted to see more of my sci-fi related films, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description if you wanted to see that. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.